I'm Cindy Barr, and a Dollar Bay Blue Bolt alumni. I am a property owner and own, town, own property in Osceola and Torch Lake Townships. My public comment is about the lack of communication from the school. This is your Bolts, your Bolts um, motto. B, be respectful, O, open-minded, L, loyal, T, trustworthy, S, supportive. The school is expecting the students to follow the Blue Bolts model. Are the superintendent and the school board staff following this model? How is it respectful? to send out, to not send out a post office mailer to inform all voters and property owners. There should be an explanation in the mail out that there was going to be a school bond election on August 6th. It should have been nonpartisan. It should have included the ballot language and other relevant details. Oh, how is it open-minded for the superintendent to say it's not worth my time to answer your email question about, about applying for an available security grant? CCISD last year got over $200,000 for security. L, how is it loyal when the superintendent won't communicate with our UPR care group on how the voter school tax millage is going to be spent. T, how is it trustworthy to be stalled and stonewalled? Or to get an email that says the superintendent will only answer questions that she considers to be FOIA or freedom of information questions or only answer other questions after 15 days, and a board member adds a reply, sounds good. S, how is it supportive to charge money to answer only some of the email questions signed by 20 people and want to be paid for these email answers ahead of time? What about communicating face to face? In conclusion, Dollar Bay has a great semi-finalist basketball team. Play ball with us. We are voters and property owners. We are paying the school millage tax. Communicate and send out postal mailers. Talk to us face to face. Email us answers at no charge. We are trying to be informed. Inform us.